Thank you for choosing to watch this video. We're going to be talking about business models uh, with hot and cold therapy, specifically with the Thermazone unit. So I'll be addressing professional end users and for those companies that sell to them. Now at this point, I assume that you've done your research in regards to the Thermazone unit and it's piqued your interest. You may have even watched the video that we have on this uh, site. Uh, it's more of an introductory video. If you haven't, I would recommend you go back and watch that first before you continue with this one. Now that you have a full understanding of how the Thermazone unit works and it makes sense to you from a clinical standpoint, I think the next logical question is to ask, should I add this into my business model? And if I do, what kind of uh, effect will it have on my bottom line? As we go to answer that question, keep in mind that hot and cold therapy is used across a wide variety of different markets, including orthopedic, physical therapist, athletic trainers, nursing homes, home health, pain management centers, migraine centers, uh, chiropractic offices, workers' comp claims, and even veterinary offices. Let's go back on an individual basis here and starting with orthopedic and take a look at these different markets. Now, the orthopedic market, I'm gonna separate into two distinct sections. The first is your inpatient hospital setting. This is where you have patients that are uh, staying for two to three days, uh, probably because they're having something like a total knee done. Uh, while they're in there, the hospital uh, is probably using ice or some sort of ice bucket that requires them to refill ice every so many hours. Maybe they've spent, uh, made the investment uh, in similar technology to the Thermazone device, but on a much more uh, expensive level. Let's face it, in this day and age, the nursing staff, they're really busy and they have a lot of responsibilities. One of those responsibilities does not have to be refilling of ice. Right now, when I picture what hospitals are doing, I see uh, mess due to melting. I see nurses running around checking on patients and refilling ice. Let me try and paint you a picture as far as what it would be like with the Thermazone unit. They come out of surgery, go into recovery. Um, they're looking to go into the orthopedic floor or the med surge unit. They already have one of our pads on. It's connected to the Thermazone device. It's bedside on a nice convenient rolling cart. Simply turn the machine on. You go ahead and put in two ounces of distilled water. Choose cold therapy. And at this point, you're gonna choose whether you wanna have continuous cold therapy, or if you wanna take advantage of our timer setting, which would allow you to have 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, or 30 minutes on and 60 minutes off. Either way, at this point, you can walk away being assured that cold therapy is being administered and there's no mess, no refilling of ice, much more efficient use of the nursing staff's time, very controlled temperature setting, and a nice timer aspect where you can be assured that it's gonna be on and off when you want it to be. Now that you kind of understand what the model would be like, let's take a look at where you can get a Thermazone. Because of its low price point, hospitals may choose to simply buy them, which you can get from many different distributors throughout the US. If you're more used to a rental model, where you can do it on a monthly basis or on a uh, per patient basis maybe, over the course of those two, three days, Thermazone can be set up that way as well. Keep in mind, this, uh, this technology is, makes it so that it's very, very convenient for not just the patient, but for the nursing staff. At this point, many of the devices that are being currently used out there do not have some sort of alarm that would allow the, the nursing staff to know or the patient to know that, hey, the water is getting warmer. The, we need to refill this with ice. You don't have that kind of concern with a Thermazone uh, device. Now, some of you may be asking, I already have a low cost option that I'm using. Why would I want to take a look at a Thermazone? Well, there's a couple different answers for that. First, if you are, uh, let's say that you're buying one of those ice bucket um, uh, refillable uh, devices out there and you are sending them home with the patients, keep in mind that besides the nursing time that goes into refilling that or the cost of ice uh, that, that you have, every time you, a patient leaves your hospital, you have to go back and buy another one of those devices. Uh, and the cost of those will add up, even though the initial investment may seem low, over the course of six months to a year, that cost adds up uh, pretty quickly. Now, let's say that you're doing, you're using a, a similar device, but you are actually renting it out. Uh, and so you're renting it and you're collecting that device back. That's a nice model as well to have, but 
Uh, many of those devices usually only last maybe three to four uh, patients in that. Uh, you may not get that many uses out of it before you have to replace an item that you've already purchased. Uh, the Thermazone unit, you won't have to uh, worry in regards to that, it has a six month warranty and um, they, they usually last much, much longer um, than, than many of the, the current devices that are already out on the field. Now, I would love to have the chance to compare and contrast numbers uh, on an individual basis. If this is something that uh, uh, on, the, on the surface seems like you'd be interested in, we can always crunch the numbers and see if the Thermazone device is right for your hospital. Thanks. Now that we've covered the first section of that orthopedic market, let's take a look at the second section I talked about, and that would be the outpatient surgery center. This is where patients end up having surgery and going home the same day. Now, many surgery centers act as their own DME, which simply means that they supply their patients with the equipment they'll need when they go home, such as cold therapy. Other uh, surgery centers would rather have local DMEs take care of their patients for them. Either way, the Thermazone unit would be a nice solution. Now, earlier we had talked about the convenience that the Thermazone unit offers for the nursing staff uh, within the hospital. Now I wanna talk about the convenience of the Thermazone unit for the patient when they go home. So let's imagine the current scenario uh, with either ice pads or an ice bucket uh, type of device. You're looking at a messier situation you uh, have to go out and buy ice. Ice isn't the easiest thing to store, and it's not exactly convenient uh, for the patient to end up uh, getting up and refilling the device with ice every so many hours. So now let's take a different uh, approach and paint a picture as far as what it would be like with the Thermazone device uh, uh, going home with a the patient. They'd come home, they would take the unit, put it on their end table next to their favorite chair, plug in, Add the two ounces of water, apply the pad, and at this point they'd get to uh, start to enjoy uh, the cold therapeutic relief. Now, over the course of those 10 days, two weeks, they're most likely not going to have to add any, any water uh, to the uh, Thermazone device. But if they did, it's a very small amount, and it's definitely uh, not the effort that it takes uh, with ice. Now, if there is the instance where you do need to get up to uh, eat um, or, or uh, something else that, that you need to uh, uh, to leave and, and uh, leave the chair that you're sitting in that makes it nice and convenient with the Thermazone device to uh, uh, have you get up, have the water still cooling, you can simply disconnect, leave the pad on, go do what you need to do, come back, reconnect to the pad, the cold water will still be circulating within the device and you'll pick up where you left off, okay? Now, the hope is that if, if the Thermazone device uh, is more convenient for the patient, that you're looking to get more compliance and have them actually use the device more, which you're hoping will speed up rec recovery. Now, what may have started off as a post-surgical uh, option in order to reduce swelling and speed recovery, it could always turn into uh, more of a home wellness plan if a patient decides to buy one. So where does Thermazone fit in when it comes to on the, on the business side? Now, there are all kinds of devices out there that uh, do compression or DVT and, and uh, there are a lot of DMEs and surgery centers that have those and when the, that is called for, those are the devices that, that you send home with them. Now. But where Thermazone fits in is number one, when compression or DVT is not needed. Number two, on a cash pay patient, when insurance is not covering because it's only for cold therapy. So that is what we're looking for, uh, the, the DMEs that would most likely uh, look for a lower cost uh, item uh, that they could use for cold therapy where their return on investment, number one, is going to be pretty quick. Number two, where they can enjoy the timer features uh, that, that other devices do not have. Number three, where they'd have very controlled temperature settings. And lastly, where they know that it's going to be very convenient for the patient. 
So that is where Thermazone fits in when it comes to uh, outpatient surgery centers that either act as their own DME or DMEs that are supplying outpatient surgery centers. Let's talk about another group real quick. Your uh, chiropractic uh, offices, pain management centers, migraine uh, clinics, and your physical therapists. All of these have uh, uh, several options that they can use when it comes to cold and hot therapy. One of the advantages that you have with the Thermazone unit is that you have hot and cold all in one device. Instead of making the investment in two separate devices, you have it all in one. There's a lot less mess as we talked about before, and you have a very controlled temperature setting. Now, there are three ways that these type of businesses uh, could make money using hot and cold therapy, and specifically Thermazone. Number one, they could purchase it for simple use within their clinic. Uh, number two, uh, for those acute scenarios with their patients, they can actually take the units and rent them out to their patients uh, on a short-term basis. And lastly, uh, if they have their DME license and they have a workers' comp claim that is uh, a patient of theirs, workers' comp currently does cover cold therapy, so they could order the device for the patient and bill workers' comp. So. Again, hopefully you would see that all three of those are very viable solutions for those uh, specific markets. That leaves us with your athletic trainers, nursing homes, home health, and your veter uh, veterinary offices now. Uh, all of these uh, markets can obviously enjoy the clinical benefits that Thermazone has to offer in that. Uh, we see this as adding value into those uh, specific businesses, uh, knowing that they have the latest in hot and cold therapy, and it's a convenient and safe alternative uh, to the products that they're using now. Thank you for your time. I hope this has answered uh, many of your questions in regards to how Thermazone and hot and cold therapy could play into your business. I look forward to, uh, um, uh, to answering questions and uh, moving forward from there. Thank you.